action. Good morning and welcome to the next installment of the Barrels video updates. It is early November, we're heading into holiday season and there is a whole lot of things going on here at the market. To start with, if you've been in recently, you've seen a lot of this awesome stainless steel equipment back here, donated by Maine General. Um, we are officially putting the kitchen in to do prepared foods and salads and cooking classes and whatnot. Um, we also have a very generous donation of $13,000 from an anonymous donor. So, we're asking you to contribute by becoming a member, renewing your membership, buying a membership for a friend, and that money will go towards uh, the match for, our, for the money we're raising to complete the kitchen. So, kitchen coming soon. On our way. Good morning. Coming through here as the holiday season is coming in, uh, we do f usually focus these videos on food. However, just want to touch on some of the awesome crafts we have by all our local providers. We've got candles and detergent and leather goods. Um, Chuck Lakin strikes again. The market would not be what it is at all without Chuck Lakin, our volunteer carpenter. And he, uh, in a matter of about 24 hours, came in with an awesome new set of shelves for us. So, lots of new shelves, lots of new products, gearing up for the holiday season. Coming down this way, we have greens. I always have to put my plug in for greens. If you do yourself one favor every day, eat greens. We have our broccoli rob, we have the leeks, and we got Swiss chard, we have kale. You can do it. Any easy way, throw it in a pan, cook it for two, three minutes, put it in soups, put it in macaroni and cheese, do anything, just eat your greens. Um, and what's going on down here? Well, there's actually a green that I actually eat and know how to cook it. Two minutes, tender tot soy. It's an amazing green, very spicy, not spicy, but flavorful, very buttery. Um, put it in a salad, saute it if you like. And moving on is our new meat cooler. Everything that we have that's meat, poultry, fish will be in the new cooler. Back on over to David. One more thing about what's that? What holidays coming out next? Oh yeah, Thanksgiving, and uh, don't forget to order your turkey. Two ninety nine a pound, free range turkey. Awesome. And so, just to pass it off here, we are lucky. Lucky timing today. We have our awesome apple supplier, one of our awesome apple suppliers here, Heather from Caperd Orchards. Tell us something about what we got going on. Hey guys, well, seeing how we're talking about Thanksgiving, let's start off talking about Northern Spies. These make the best apple pie. They're an heirloom variety. You know, they don't look the prettiest to look at, but you bake these up, they're going to hold their shape and they're going to be amazing in whatever you cook with them. They're a great storage apple and it's something that you can keep around all winter, so keep your eyes open for those because they'll be around for a while. Another great one are the Honeycrisp, a little opposite. They are crispy and sweet. They are what they say they are, honey crisp. Great eating apple. <clears throat> Another good one to bake with is your Ida Reds. These things are hard, they're tart, and they're full of flavor. You take some of these different varieties, you mix them in, and it's going to make an amazing pie for your Thanksgiving feast. Hampshires are another one you're going to be able to find throughout the winter, hard and crispy. We love to sell apples that are in season. You're going to find your winter apples all winter long, your summer apples in the summer, and your fall apples in the fall. No CA, no gassing, just what's in season. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Dude, that was perfect. That was awesome. Oh, I'm still on. Okay, well that's <laughs> that's updates from the market this week from your team here and a hello to Maple from everyone and a thank you. He's the one that's behind the camera just as a reminder. Um, thanks a lot. We'll see you for a holiday shopping soon.